call it the winds of change. You are seeing almost as many wind turbines in Toledo as you are solar fields. Local officials see alternative energy as the region's future in manufacturing, and the jobs that go with that industry would be a bonus too. But Fox Toledo's Kevin Milliken's been looking into whether all the talk of wind energy for Northwest Ohio's future really is possible or just a lot of hot air. Local researchers say we've met three of the four requirements. Wind turbines on Lake Erie are technically feasible, environmentally friendly, and cost effective. But whether it will be politically acceptable as a policy decision is the big factor. If that's the case, we could see wind turbines in the water within a decade. Toledo Long has been known as a solar center, but researchers are turning to another area of alternative energy. This is the Saudi Arabia of wind, Lake Erie. Wind turbines are starting to dot the north coast of Ohio, like this one at Maumee Bay State Park. Those are all on land. We're way behind our Canadian counterparts across Lake Erie, where wind is a way of life, even in the water. But we're catching up. And we want to catch up with appropriate technology. We want to be ahead of the technology curve. We don't want to install old stuff. Whatever wind turbines hit the water won't be the ones on your granddaddy's farm for decoration. University of Toledo researchers are testing new designs in the lab. This blade flaps like a bird's wing in a wind tunnel. Add a little smoke and laser light, and it's like a CAT scan. People use the smoke over a car model. They can see where they have problem. They cause too much drag, too much resistance. They can change the shape of the uh, car to improve on that. We are looking at uh, designs that are, uh, that are possible, feasible, and uh, we have to look at the economic viability of those designs. Outside the lab, grad students are field testing the concerns of environmentalists that wind turbines on Lake Erie will disrupt the migratory patterns of birds and bats, many who stop over each spring and fall in the marshlands between Maumee Bay and Points East. We have an issue with the bats being killed by the wind turbine, and we want to minimize that and we want to live in harmony. Right now it's taking sweeps of the sky, looking for any objects flying. Using marine radar attached to a parabolic dish, thermal imaging cameras and directional microphones, the UT research team is tracking the night flight patterns of songbirds, Canadian geese and other flocks. The idea is to find those flight patterns and either locate the wind turbines elsewhere or shut them down during flying season. If windmills do end up in water, the turbines would be twice the size of the monstrous machines in BG. But NASA scientists also have an idea that would answer Lake Erie's icing problem, and it may sound far-fetched, floating windmills. It's not as far-fetched uh, because we do have fl floating platforms for oil and gas industry. Maybe it's a two-bladed turbine that twists and moves and it would have a different type of head and that for long-term maintenance, you could bring it in just like you'd reel in a boy from, from uh, the water. Maps measuring airflow also show the power potential of Northwest Ohio's windy ways. The city of Oregon is the fifth windiest city along the Lake Erie coast. The school district now wants to add six more windmills to its test turbine after discovering it generates 25% more electric than expected. Even Oregon city leaders are talking about turning to wind as their main municipal power source. But where will all these giant windmills come from? Instead of importing from Europe or South America, local leaders want them to become a made in Northwest Ohio export. Here we can manufacture and move uh, that product. We can become competitive in this. Not so far-fetched either. A lot of the development work at the Port of Toledo using federal stimulus money is to set things up to ship giant wind turbine parts all over the world by rail, road, or freighter. The Port Authority has had several visits by companies wanting to make wind turbines here. But the credit crunch has kept anything serious from happening. Kevin Milliken, Fox Toledo News.